this week. Time to clock in. The first day at a new job can be daunting, anxiety-inducing, and downright terrifying. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 is the sequel to the terrifying VR experience that brought new life to the iconic horror franchise. As a brand new Fazbear employee, you'll have to prove that you have what it takes to excel in all aspects of pizzeria management and maintenance. Go backstage as a VIP to help Roxanne Wolf and the staff bots to get ready for their performance in the Pizzaplex salon. Take care of things behind the scenes in the staff only section of the pizzeria. Deliver first aid to patients who aren't quite feeling themselves. And help animatronics perform routine diagnostics. And finally, if you're short on dread, dive into the world of Sister Location. These special mini games are VR versions of classic experience from Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. These fan favorites brought to life promise to be as fun as they are terrifying. So, what are you waiting for? Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 is now accepting applicants for all positions, effective immediately. It's time to be a god, save your residents, and keep their islands from falling to the enemy. Towers and Powers is a VR tower defense game where you organize, oversee, and bolster the defenses of your people with divine interventions. In Towers and Powers, you'll find yourself in an ancient land surrounded by a beautiful landscape, elegant buildings, mythical creatures, and of course, chaos. These gorgeous places are under attack, and as one of the gods, you'll have to save your residents and keep their islands from falling. But the rules forbid you to intervene directly. So what can you do, other than take powers into your hands? The award-winning, darkly comedic game of televised chaos that critics have been calling a bizarre masterpiece and quite possibly the best FMV game ever is now available in VR. Not for broadcast, VR takes the gameplay, story, and gripping dark comedy of the original award-winning FMV adventure and brings you closer to the news than ever. Get a full view of the entire newsroom, interact with your equipment, and punch, slap, and grab anything that dares to get between you and the truth. Minutes ago, operatives were... <laughs> oh dear. Looks like someone messed up. Prison Boss VR is a crafting and simulation game with one simple goal, make money. Locked up in your prison cell, produce and sell contraband items to buy your freedom back. But don't get caught by the guards. Roll cigarettes, fill up bottles, write erotic letters, and more. Be sure to stash your goods well, or they'll be snatched by the guards. Prison Boss is still my favorite trebuchet game, and it's now available for PSVR 2, with unfortunately, no upgrade path if you already own it. Favorite little chef. Get super rich. If you're a fan of No Man's Sky but missed some of the expeditions over the last year, well, you're in luck. Because starting today and running through January 8th, Hello Games is running remixed versions of Utopia, Singularity, Cartographers, and Voyagers with the opportunity to earn exclusive rewards. This week, Galaxy Kart went from being a pretty good game to a pretty great game, which is definitely saying something about the progress this game has made, considering I gave it a 3 out of 10 at launch. All the new tracks and wheel support made it way more fun, but this week the developers over at VR Monkey updated Galaxy Kart to run at a native 90 hertz, and now the racing is silky smooth. Sure, there are still a few bugs here and there, but I finally feel good about saying, it's finally time to pick this one up.
patch 1.12 for Firewall Ultra just dropped, and alongside a slew of gameplay improvements and refinements, it adds two brand new maps, The Lab and Stronghold. Access points located. Get me in so I can start the hack. In case you missed it, the new Meow Wolf course is now available for Walkabout Mini Golf. It's pretty stunning, but it seems like developer Mighty Coconut isn't content with just making awesome new courses, because this week they gave their original map, Taurus Trap, a visual makeover. Hopefully they plan to do this with the rest of the OG courses too. Oh man, the other major release of the month, Vertigo 2, the epic sci-fi VR adventure, was supposed to release this week on December 12th, but publisher Perp Games issued a statement saying they found a game-breaking bug last minute that needs to be fixed. And as far as I'm concerned, Perp should take all the time that they need, because from what I've played so far, I can tell you that this game is going to be big. The scientifically rated scariest game of all time, Madison, is finally coming to VR. Well, eventually. It's still a couple months off, as Perp announced this week that it'll be out on February 20th. The critically acclaimed Tetris-inspired VR puzzle game Vetrix Worlds is about to hit PSVR 2. Enjoy the game alone in arcade and campaign modes, or get social with the all-new co-op and competitive multiplayer online modes. Vetrix Worlds is set to release December 21st. Big Shots VR is a fresh take on the popular wave shooter in roguelite genre. Gear up, team up, and exterminate as the ultimate mech pilot, where you'll battle alien hordes, earn upgrades, and forge an unstoppable mech to reclaim Earth, play solo, or an online cross-platform co-op with a friend. Developer Combat Waffle, best known for Ghost of Tabor in their upcoming game Grimm, just announced a new open-world survival MMO hybrid zombie game called Silent North. Even though this trailer ends with only the meta and Steam logos, the developers have confirmed over on their Discord that it's also coming to PSVR 2. The new game Astro Hunters was also revealed this week with a cinematic trailer. No gameplay was shown, but at least tonally speaking, I'm intrigued. Hopefully we'll get some actual gameplay of this one soon though, so we can see, you know, what kind of game it is. This week we got a new trailer for the upcoming third verse developed, sword fighting adventure Soul Covenant. Now, the combat looks great, just like Swords of Gargantua and Altair Breaker before it. The question remains, however, will third verse actually deliver the content that their last two games desperately needed and never got?
次が最後の命令だ Although Green Hell VR could certainly use some more visual polish on PSVR 2, it's great to see Incubo delivering not only the new Spirits of the Amazonia DLC for free, but also announcing this week that three player co op is on its way as well. I'm Triska, no more ass grabbing. Bulletstorm VR recently got delayed from December to January, letting us kick off the new year in style. And this week, in a new trailer, Incubo announced that the game will feature new content, specifically two new levels where you play as Trishka, who fights with an energy blade melee weapon. Ready for injection sequence. Publisher Perp Games announced on the Upload VR showcase this week that they're giving even more PSVR 2 games the physical treatment. Along with the ones we already knew about, they announced that Crossfire Sierra Squad, Hubris, Operation Serpents, and Mixture will all be released physically as well, either this year or next. Alright, guys, I've already told you like three times this week, but it's worth repeating. To celebrate the release of the brand new VR mode, Resident Evil 4 Remake is on sale right now for half price. The sale only lasts through the weekend, though, so get it now before it's too late. And yes, in case you didn't hear, the VR mode also has trophy support. Every week, our good friend Professor Lilith organizes a multiplayer meetup over on our Discord. It happens every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and this week we'll be playing 10 player social deduction game Among Us VR. If you can't make this week's meetup, don't worry, it happens every Sunday at the same time. So make sure you click the link in the description below. Come join our Discord. This week.